But ocean acidification is the other carbon dioxide problem, one that we, we don't talk about as much. So when carbon dioxide dissolves into ocean water, it actually reduces the pH. It makes the water mo more acidic than it has been before. And it makes it much harder for marine animals to make their shells. So their shells get more brittle. Uh, often their survival goes down or their reproduction goes down. In talking with fishermen who rely on shellfish resources or aquaculturists who grow shellfish, I'm often asked, how is ocean acidification going to affect my business, my fishing? These people have heard what ocean acidification is, but how it's going to affect their bottom line isn't clear. And I, I think that's a, that's a really important issue for us to address as a science community. For example, sea scallops here on the East Coast, it's the most valuable fishery in the United States. About $110 million here in New Jersey, about $600 million nationally. And this is a species that's very sensitive to ocean acidification, so there are big worries about what will happen going forward. Over the past couple hundred years since industrialization, uh, the average uh, pH of the ocean has gone down by about 0.1 pH units. That doesn't sound like much, but if you look at it in terms of hydrogen ions, that's how pH is measured. That's a 25% change, so that's a massive change. And we're looking at probably an even bigger change over the next decade, 50 years.